Hello everybody and happy Easter to you. My name is Daryl Butler and I'm the children's pastor at the Mid Rivers campus and it is great to be with you on Easter. Well, Easter's going to be a little different this year and I want to welcome you to something called Easter Jam. Now Easter Jam is for the entire family. So if you don't have everybody gathered around, shout out, call them over. So get ready, buckle up, because we are about to begin in three, two, one. Easter, a time for fake grass, plastic eggs, these things, chocolate bunnies, and people dressed as bunnies. And then there are the weird parts of Easter, like fake grass, plastic eggs, these things, chocolate bunnies, and people dressed as bunnies, which is interesting. But what does all this stuff have to do with Easter? And if this holiday is about more than candy and wearing uncomfortable clothes to church and lunch with your relatives, what makes Easter happy? Hey everyone, welcome to a very special Easter edition of our game. We are going to be playing an Easter egg stacking game called Stack 'em, Don't Crack 'em. We have three families joining us today, one from each campus. We have the Braggs, the Bontragers, and the Millers. Hey, Bragg family! Hi! I'm Meredith. I'm Marshall. I'm Kelly. I'm Curtis. I'm Ella. Hey, Bontragers! Hello. I'm Will. Will. I'm Judy. I'm Jerry. I'm Andrew. And we also have the Millers. Hey, Millers! Hi. I'm Diane. I'm Zoe. I'm Noah. I'm Zeke. So here's what you're going to do. You all have Easter eggs in front of you, and you're going to take them and stack them as quickly as possible. And the team to stack the highest stack wins. Pretty simple. Um, are you guys ready to play? Yeah! yeah. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, game begin. I'll count your eggs and tell me how many you got. 6, 47, 48, 49, 42, 43, 44, 45. 45! 45! 45. 45. 45, awesome! All right. 46. 46, nice job, okay. 51. 51, all right, nice job. All right, it looks like the pawn triggers won. Nice job, everyone. You guys all did great. Thanks. Thank you, Liz! You're welcome. It's so fun to play with you guys. It was a fun game. It was a fun game. Good. Happy um, Easter. Happy Easter. What is Easter about? It's about the last. It's when Jesus rose from the dead three days after he was crucified. 
about Christmas. It's about Christmas? Uh -huh. Can you tell me what Easter is about? Jesus. What about him? Jesus is great and he does everything for us. For me, it's about getting Easter egg hunts. Oh, that traffic. Oh, that candy. What about God? He died on the cross and then for me too. He says it's his birthday. Can you tell me about the Last Supper? Okay, what happened there? One of his disciples sneaked out. Sneaked out? What did he do? It was a God's tomb. Oh, and who are they going to get? You know it, Clark. Do you know it, Clark? Uh huh. You burped? Okay. They ate together. They ate together and he washed um, their feet. It's where they had the last supper before they died. Yeah. Um, Jesus said, this is my body with the bread and um, with wine. He said, take this. This is my body. Who was at the last supper? Peter. I don't, I do not know about well, yeah. that. You don't know about that? He ate with his soldiers. What did they eat for the Last Supper? Like, what kind of food do you think they ate? Wood and water. Mm, and water. Water? Uh huh. And muffins. So muffins and this too. This has got to be bread Easter eggs. Chicken noodle soup and fishes. They eat pizza. What did Jesus do in the garden? Pray. What did the disciples do? Baby, baby, baby. Yes, then? They ran away. They ran away? They fell asleep. Picked vegetables. He prayed to um, the Lord. Uh, planted flowers. Planted grass. Watch Adam and Eve eat the big bad fruit. What did the disciples do in the garden? Pick flowers. Oh, snooze! Who was in the garden? Who else? Shane. And I look a sample. He just is up. And I look a sample. He just is up. All of them do be. See, see, see. James, it's John. And then another James, Peter. And then John. Seven. Bethlehem. Adam Eve. Soldiers. Who brought them there? Judas. Why did he do that? Because he's going to go pray. Because he wanted to be paraphrased by Jesus. Jesus was arrested and he was sentenced Wait. to die on the cross. And then what happened next? Yeah. Came alive. Come alive. Mm -hmm. And he's gone in this. Did he chaos? Then they put him in a cocoon. And then. Three days later, they opened it up, and then all the girls were so panicked. And then an angel came and said, Jesus is alive! He was in a big tomb, and then he rose again. And every morning, he gives us mercy. He rose back up again. Jesus rose from the dead. Where was he? Out of the tomb. He was out of the tomb? Why did he die on the cross for us? Because. Some of the soldiers, the bad ones, poked him in the belly with their swords. Because it was what God's and Jesus' plan was. For Easter. Because he is alive. For I said, so he could forgive one of each one. Yeah. Because God is always with us. Where was Jesus' body buried after he died on the cross? A tomb. A tomb? A tomb. Do you know what a tomb is? Uh, a big cave. In a pit. In a pit? I call them caves. He was in the uh, hospital. At the disciples' house? Remember the women went to the tomb? And what did they find? Oh, girls. What did they find in the cave, Viv? God. I do not remember. What did the ladies find at the tomb when they went to find Jesus? Oh yeah, our guys. Their guys? Yeah. Okay, what did the guys find? 
to the ladies. An angel. Hey, Brent, what was in Jesus' tomb? An uh, angel? We just wanted to um, tell you about Easter. It's not about um, getting presents. presents. It's just about celebrating, celebrating Jesus and God. Hope you guys have a great Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. peeps person or not? I am a peeps person, but I like them after they've been opened and have set out for just a little bit. You have a favorite animal. My favorite animal is a deer. You have a favorite Disney movie. Newsies. What is your favorite dessert? Silky's Turtle Sunday. Do you have a favorite sport? Oh yeah, I'm real athletic. <laughs> <laughs> Ping pong. Do you have a favorite cereal? My favorite cereal is Lucky Charms, but I just like the marshmallows. I pick them out and then put the box back. Where were you born? In Fairmount, Indiana. Home of James Dean and Garfield the Cat. <laughs> so what is one of your favorite childhood movies? I guess Mary Poppins, the original. Yeah, yep. I had a Mary Poppins lunchbox. So. What was your first toy as a child? I remember one of my favorite dolls was Pat Burp. And you patted her until she burped. Have you ever sleepwalked? Oh, yeah. And yeah, I have. Wow, and you remember? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I was redirected. What is the weirdest word in the English language to you? I hate the word veggies. I, that word, I don't know why. It just makes my skin crawl. If you are stuck on an island and you could only pick one food to eat forever, what food would that be? Crab legs. I'm having trouble with that. What is a secret talent of yours? Well, funny you should ask that. I actually taught aerobics for 25 years, and I just found my aerobic album, and I have been doing it again. God loves us, and He gave His only Son. He is awesome, Jesus. Nothing can stop Him, He's too strong. Yeah, we're singing. Jesus is alive, He's alive, oh yeah. Everybody celebrate. Jesus is
I hope you're having fun so far. We're celebrating because today is Easter. And if you don't know the whole story of Easter, that's okay. Today we'll talk about what makes today, maybe more than any other day, a happy day. But before we get there, I know you have a lot of family and friends who would love to hear from you. And to make that happen, you have a few options. Pick one of the challenges on the screen to wish your peeps a happy Easter. Now, even though we're celebrating a little differently than we have in past years, that's okay. Easter is still happy. And that's not just because of peep wars or Easter baskets or chocolate bunnies, although those things are awesome. It's still happy because of what happened thousands of years ago at the first Easter. It's the world's most powerful story, and yet it's so simple. So simple that it can be told with laundry. In the beginning, God created everything. He formed people in his very own image. But then, we turned away from God. Sin entered the world, like a dark stain. Still, God loved us so deeply that He made a plan to rescue us. At just the right moment, God sent His very own Son, Jesus, to live among us. Jesus healed hearts, and minds, and bodies. Thousands gathered to hear him teach. Instead of giving lots of new rules, Jesus turned things upside down by making it simple. Love God, love others. After three years of traveling and teaching, Jesus and his disciples entered Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover feast. Huge crowds gathered to welcome him. But while the crowds cheered for Jesus, the religious leaders made plans to arrest him he was turning their world upside down, and they wanted him gone. As Jesus celebrated the Passover meal with his friends, he told them that he would be leaving, but would return. His friends didn't understand. That night, one of Jesus' followers, Judas, led soldiers to arrest him. The religious leaders gave Jesus a fake trial and then sent him to Pilate, the Roman governor, who could have him killed. Pilate found Jesus had broken no law and tried to release him. But a mob called for Jesus to be killed. Pilate gave in and handed Jesus over to the Roman soldiers. Jesus was forced to carry the heavy beams of his own wooden cross. On a hill called Golgotha, the soldiers nailed Jesus' hands and feet to the rough wood. The soldiers and people who passed by laughed and mocked him. But from the cross, Jesus asked God to forgive them. Finally, Jesus called out, It is finished. Then he died. The earth shook. Rocks split open. Even the soldiers cried, Surely he was the Son of God. One of Jesus' followers took his body and placed it in a tomb cut from the rock. A huge stone blocked the entrance. Jesus' friends were devastated. They had believed that Jesus was the one God promised, the one who would rescue them. But now he was gone. Their whole world had turned upside down. Jesus' friends stayed hidden in fear for three days. But early Sunday morning, Mary Magdalene, a close friend of Jesus, hurried to the tomb. She planned to anoint Jesus' body with special spices. As Mary neared the tomb, she saw the stone had been rolled away. The tomb was empty. Mary turned to see a man standing near. She didn't recognize him until he said, Mary. It was Jesus, alive. Jesus told her, do not hold on to me. I have not yet ascended to the Father. Instead, go to those who believe in me. Jesus, God's Son, became like us to lay down his life. 
Through God's power, he defeated death for all of us, and sin was washed away. One day, he's promised to return so we can live with him forever. Well, Easter Jam is almost over. It has been so much fun to get to celebrate Easter with you in this special kind of way. But before we go, we want to remind you the main point that we heard, John 3, 16. And it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son. And anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. Or that means that they will live forever with him. And we've also learned from this verse three things that God loves and God gives and God makes a way for us to live with him forever. And out of God's love for us, while we were still sinners, sin, what's sin? Well, sin is all the bad things that we do that disappoint God and go against God's word. And there's a consequence for sin. Sin separates our relationship from God, and that poses a problem. We want to fix that separation and bring that relationship back together. And God says that the only way to fix that is to believe in his gift. And what is his gift that he gave? He gave Jesus to die on a cross, be buried in a tomb, and three days rise again to defeat death. So now out of our belief in Jesus and our trust in him, we can follow him, we can live our life for him, we can be a part of his big God story, and we can do amazing things with him. Well, Easter Jam has been a blast. Please reach out to us and we will see you again soon.